We have just confirmed with a senior U.S. defense official that, in fact, North Korea has launched a ballistic missile. The launch came at about 3 a.m. local time, uh, just north of Pyongyang, the North Korean capital. It's an unusual time for a missile to be fired. Usually, they are fired at dawn. We know that this missile went to the east, but right now, the Pentagon and U.S. Pacific Command are analyzing the trajectory. We don't know if it was an ICBM, an international continental ballistic missile, but we can confirm with senior U.S. defense officials what the South Koreans have been reporting, that North Korea launched a ballistic missile uh, not long ago, uh, firing it to the east. Again, we don't know how far it flew and uh, whether it was an ICBM or not. Harris. Well, we waited uh, for a few minutes for this confirmation, and I know that there are a couple of things that you say still we do not know, and that is the type of missile this is. But, Jennifer, this is not happening on a day in which there was no news with North Korea. I mean, this, this day started uh, in the wee, hour, more, wee morning hours of reports, at least from Reuters, and now building upon different sources, uh, in which North Korea says it's farther along in its nuclear program. The South Korean ministry saying, you know, it, it looks to be that that is the case. Absolutely. In fact, the reports came from the South Korean reunification minister saying that within a year, North Korea would have completed its nuclear program. Remember, North Korea already has about 20 nukes. So it's not that they don't already have nuclear, uh, nuclear capability, but this is a new report from South Korea suggesting that within a year, the latest intelligence suggests that North Korea's nuclear program would be uh, complete. Uh, this is obviously a worrisome time. There is a, a White House meeting slated. Uh, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis is supposed to be over at the White House uh, this afternoon. That meeting was to be discussing budget issues. Uh, mm -hmm. The president had invited him to sit in on that meeting with congressional leaders. It is clear now that they will have to address uh, this latest provocation from Pyongyang. Uh, all right. One of the new details that you brought us, and I'm asking our panel to sit by uh, here. We have a, a a gentleman with us today who worked for Senator uh, Mitch McConnell, and no doubt this will come up on Capitol Hill now. So I'm going to ask you guys to stand by and get to this. I want to talk with you, though, Jennifer, about the timing. This happened in the middle of the day for Americans. So if they're trying to get our attention or the world's attention, it's not the overnight. And you mentioned the timing. Talk to me about it. Well, it's interesting. Often what we have noticed is that uh, Pyongyang will fire, a, a, particularly if it's an ICBM, at about 6 a.m. local time, uh, Korean time. That ends up being about 6 p.m. here. We're 12 hours ahead on the east coast mm -hmm. of the United States. Uh, again, it's hard to get into the mind of the leader of the North Korean regime. Uh, it's not clear at this point whether this was an ICBM, but certainly this ballistic missile, the first, as you mentioned, that has been fired since September 15th, uh, it has gotten the attention of the U.S. military, and certainly the president will be briefed uh, as soon as there is more information about how far this ballistic missile flew, whether it threatened any of the allies in the region. 